Today we are gonna do a little investigation, if you will. These are some of my favorite videos to film because it's honestly just so much fun to experiment with different things. And I have seen a lot of jeans hacks circulating the internet and TikTok. And so I thought I would test some of them out on camera for you. So I've actually been sent a couple of these before and been like, oh, you should use this as a remedy for jeans of yours that don't fit. So I'm gonna get to the bottom of it and give you my full honest opinion about all of this. And you know, I think the kind of new wave of baggier jeans being trendy has made it kind of complicated because everyone has different bodies and proportions. And so sometimes I feel like when I find that perfect like baggy fit of jeans, then it's a little bit too loose in the waist. And then if I size down too much and it's at a place where I like it in the waist, then it's too tight around the thighs and then it's not really a baggy jean anymore. So I'm hoping to find a resolution for that today. I have no idea how this is gonna go. I have not tried any of this beforehand. It's gonna be a complete surprise for all of us. So let's jump in. And before we go any further, I wanna say a big thanks to the sponsor of today's video, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. You can explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in your creativity. They offer classes from a wide range of topics like freelance and entrepreneurship, web development, film and video, productivity, and more. Skillshare has classes to fit your schedule and your skill level. Most classes are under 60 minutes with short lessons to fit any schedule, and with a yearly subscription, it's less than 10 a month. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. The class that I'm taking at the moment is Bookkeeping for Freelancers, How to Handle Your Finances by Emily Simcox. And this has been incredibly helpful for me as a freelancer who is kind of just learning how to do bookkeeping. It's great if you're a beginner like me who is just learning to navigate the world of tracking your own finances. So I highly recommend it. And the best part is the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description box below. We'll get a free trial to a premium membership on Skillshare so you can explore your creativity on your own. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this portion of the video and let's jump into some jeans hacks. Okay, I went back and forth about this when I was planning out this video and I think for the most part for this video, I'm just gonna stick to this one pair of jeans just for consistency. And I think this pair of jeans is the perfect candidate because I thrifted them. They're a men's size 40, I believe, in Levi's 560. But the waist is way too big. It like, basically they're like falling off of my body, but they're extremely comfortable and I actually really like the way they fit in the legs. I featured these in my Millennial Tries Gen Z jeans video and I. I think that these are like the closest thing to the perfect baggy jeans that I'm looking for. I want them to be comfortable, but I just, I need a little more <laughs> support in the abdominal area. So honestly wearing a belt just doesn't look that cute. Like you might be saying, Carrie, just wear a belt. I, I hear you. I wanna be able to not have to wear a belt. I'm not into belts. And this just gives us an excuse to play around. So the first thing that I'm gonna be trying is kind of weird. It involves a shoelace. I saw a TikTok, I will insert it here, where essentially you take a shoelace, if you were in need of a belt and you are in a pinch and you don't have one, you take a shoelace and you tie it along the back three loops of your jeans and then tie it together and then throw like a jacket over it. So this is obviously only if you're gonna be wearing something or unless you don't mind a shoelace hanging out the back of your jeans. So I purchased a brand new shoelace because the thought of taking one out of my shoes and using it on the back of my jeans just made me feel weird. So here we go. We've got a shoelace. I don't know. This is so bizarre. And I'm going to essentially loop it through my jeans and then tie it tight and then cover the back of my body with like a jacket or something. We'll see. For some of you, this might honestly be the ideal situation. So, okay, <laughs> gotta make sure we're zoomed in here. Here we go, are you ready? So, how many back loops do I have? Okay, I have these three. So I'm gonna go in here. There are also ties on the back of my shirt, which makes it difficult. I'll go here, and then we'll go here. Okay, then you tie, oh! Oh, let's tuck these up because they're bugging the shit out of me. Okay, so you pull it like this, you tighten it. I'm assuming you just like tie it in a bow. <sighs> okay, like does it look cute in the back? No, absolutely not. But let's get a jacket. Just for the sake of like spring, almost summertime, keeping it colorful, we'll use this. It's also long. Then you throw it on. Wait. 
I actually kind of love this. I certainly wouldn't use this hack if I was like not wearing a jacket. Like if it was, you know, not winter time, probably wouldn't recommend it. Unless you don't mind this look on the back of your jeans, but wow, how interesting. I am actually kind of shook. These do fit a lot better. Like they're still loose for sure. I probably could like play around with it a bit more. I probably could have like hiked these up more before I tried, but it definitely makes the jeans in my opinion fit a lot better. It is most definitely not perfect, um, but I don't think it's supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be a thing where you're like in a pinch and you're like, oh no, my pants are falling off and I'm in public. What do I do? Let me take my shoelace out of my shoe. I don't know. Or if you just don't want to wear a belt, like if you don't have time to go to the tailor and get your jeans taken in you can just like quickly tie it in the back and then hit the town if I were to scale it on 1 to 10 I would say like a 7 7.5 like it's pretty solid it's not a permanent solution but it's nice if you're in a pinch so I'm not mad at it would I wear this outfit together particularly no absolutely not but you know pretend for the sake of the video but you can't tell can't tell at all all right next up we're gonna do one that still confuses me I've watched a video like seven times and my brain still can't process it I don't understand why so I'm gonna play the TikTok here I keep watching it over and over again and I don't know like it's just one of those things that my brain can't learn it so essentially you take your waistband and shift it over a belt loop so you take your button of your waistband and then you move it over to your belt loop and then you button it over the belt loop? I don't know. That's also a pretty big gap, so we'll see. I don't know, I'm still confused. I literally need to watch this again. Only took me 10 tries. All right, so I'll get a little closer so we can see. Essentially, you unbutton this, right? You put this, wait, I already forgot. You put this under this, what? Who figured, like, who thought of this? Okay, I'm gonna like fold it a little bit so it's nice. You put this, <laughs> you put this under your belt loop like this, which it's not wanting to do that for me. Wait, hold on. Why is this so difficult? Okay, so you put this under this belt loop. Then you take this and you button it over it, there's simply not enough room, love. What? Is this supposed to fit? Hold on. Oh my God, no, 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 this is not working. It's just not working. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, okay, that was better, I think. Oh my God. How is this, how is this supposed to work? It's just there's too much fabric underneath the button. It's not that it won't button, it's just that there's a belt loop, like two inches of fabric, and then this, all trying to fit under the same button. I'm so confused. Maybe if I like push it over a little bit. Okay, let's try that. Let's like pull it through a little more. Oh no. Okay, I'm going to make this work. Oh dear. Oh, I think I did it. <laughs> Wait, what? Is this supposed to be the hack? Um, hmm. I mean, the pants are tighter, I'll give you that, but now I have a bit of a camel toe and then this weird folding situation. Am I doing this wrong? This just feels very, like, not natural. It's just, it's not a cute look. They look great in the back, I'll say that. Like, hello, adorable. That is definitely a sign that I need to get these altered, which I will, but what even, like, what is this fold? What is this flap? Who is she? I've watched this TikTok like 12 times and I still can't wrap my brain around it. Like it, this is the hardest thing I've ever done. Am I doing this wrong? Let's watch it one more time, <laughs> swear to God. No, I 100% did that right. So maybe I just don't fold it as much as she did. Her fold is still, okay, so you know what? I don't feel as bad because after rewatching it for the hundredth time, she has that same little fold right here. So it's not just me, but okay. So we go like this. I'm gonna focus less on like folding it and more on just like pushing the actual button through. The button through the belt loop. I don't know. Okay, that was a little bit easier. So we'll try again. Easier to button this time, that's for sure. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder about TikToks. People will be like, try this, it's so easy. And I'm like, is the waistband damn near perfect? Yeah, absolutely. But does my crotch look extremely weird? Yeah, it does. I would much rather have it be, much rather have it be baggier in the front and like even do the shoelace thing. Like the shoelace thing was way better than this, but I have seen people do this, including this girl on the TikTok and like it looks fantastic. So 
I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I'm following the directions to a T. So much so that I like it made me question the capacity of my brain. So if we're rating it out of 10 like we did last time. This is like a zero out of 10, maybe a one. I'm feeling generous, but this is not a hack to me. Not my favorite, but I did try. Let me know if you've had better luck with this. Maybe it's my body type. Maybe it's like for thinner people, it works out better. But for me, this is a no. The next one we've got here is the one that I'm actually the most curious about. And this is a fake button that you add to your jeans and then you button your jeans over the fake button instead of the actual button. I never even thought that this would be a possibility, but I found these buttons from Amazon. I'm sure you could find them other places, but that's where I got mine. And it comes in a pack of like five different buttons they are a little corny they say things like jeans on them but no one's really gonna see that so okay here's what they look like they say things like wear jeans or jeans wear or even this one says perfect fit button so I've got my pick here I'm gonna pick this one because it matches the one that I already have pretty well you take your little button you take off the back and then you put it further down on your waistband of your jeans. You secure the button so that it's all stuck in there. So I'm gonna push it really tight and then you take your jeans, unbutton them and rebutton them on the tighter button. And supposedly, um, okay, you know what? This is the most promising one so far. Like I really was about to be like, hold on. It does to me look a little bit crooked and honestly, I actually think I could probably, oh, See, it already broke. Okay, it didn't break, it just popped off. That's the other thing I'm wondering is like, what, what kind of strength are we dealing with here? Okay, let's try again. So I've got it a little bit tighter here. So I mean, it's not really that different from the belt loop ones. So like, how is this gonna be any different? Also, the back of this pin um, is very pokey. So keep that in mind. Okay, here we go. Do that again. I'm gonna like tuck in this <laughs> zipper fold thingy. I mean, okay, you know what? I will say this is the best one so far, by far. It is a little bit crooked, but I've actually also seen jeans recently that that is popular, like it's in style. So it's not the worst thing. It definitely makes it so that these are easier to wear, but I'm just really apprehensive about how well this is gonna hang on. Like, am I just gonna be sitting here and then all of a sudden this button is gonna fly off? Like it just doesn't feel that sturdy to me, especially with something like mom jeans and then when you sit down it like pulls you know I don't know again maybe for like a quick fix or something like if you're in a pinch and you're like oh no I'm wearing jeans and suddenly they're too big but I don't know how I feel about this being like a permanent thing because like I said it's poking into me I think just the way that they like brushed the metal it's got like a jagged part and it's kind of tearing into my skin. And also just the integrity of the button. Like I just don't know how well it would hold on. I feel like if I were to just like bend over too far, I mean, so far it's actually okay. It's holding on. Maybe it's not as bad as I thought. Maybe if you had like some felt or something like that, like sticky felt, you could put that on the back so it wouldn't like jab into as much. But yeah, my only critiques are that it does look a little off center, but that might not bother you. It's slightly uncomfortable, the back of the pin kind of jabbing into your stomach. And then also it's a little bit, uh, uh, nerve wracking because <laughs> I don't want to be sitting there and all of a sudden my pants fly open. So with that being said, I'm going to give these like an eight out of 10. Like it's definitely the best of the options, but it's still not perfect. I mean, obviously in an ideal world, you would get your jeans tailored, which is what I hope to do with these because I really want them to be like my perfect baggy jeans. They're very comfortable, especially in the leg. I don't know exactly how I feel about all of these. I have pros and cons about each one, but truly they all did what they claimed to do, which was make the waist of your jeans tighter. So keep that in mind if you are out there shopping or thrifting for your kind of dream pair of baggy jeans and you have that issue with the waist being too tight, try some of these, see what works for you. Maybe you'll be surprised. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also turn on my post notifications if you wanna be notified every time I post a new video. Which of these hacks was your favorite? Which do you see trying out for yourself? Definitely let me know in the comments below. Everything that is available, I'll link in the description box below as always. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any other requests for hacks or jeans hacks or clothing hacks or TikTok hacks or whatever, definitely let me know. I would love to try it out for you. But yeah, love you so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye.